Okay, part two. So part one we did the insight card. Part two is path working. Now this is a two part card, two part, two card uh, um, spread. Path working simply means choice making. We walk our spiritual path by co-creating our reality through our choices and the actions we take. The path working layout is designed to help you make a decision or choice by giving you a general overview of the relative energies of two options. Layout position number one is the overall energy surrounding option one, while the second position relates to option two. This layout is, um, is similar to an insight layout in that it doesn't give you very deep information, but it may be able to give you enough of a sense of the energies of each choice to help you make a decision between options. It is important to have two clear options in mind when doing this layout. What are your actual choices in this situation? Between which options specifically are you choosing? Get a clear image or thought of each choice in mind before pulling your cards. When you phrase, phrase your question for each position in the layout, do it from a co-creative perspective and not a fatalistic one. There are no shoulds in co-creation. The universe is often waiting for you to make your choice and commit your energy before it can step in and support you. So in that choice, so the wording of your question you hold in your mind as you draw your card is important. For instance, instead of asking which of these options should I choose, then trying to figure out what the cards are in, try if I choose option one, what will be the outcome? Then draw the card for option one. If I choose option two, what will be the outcome? Then Pull the card for option two. By phrasing your choices in this way, you know that the card you are receiving for each position represents the primary outcome of making that choice. You can do this for more than two options, but pulling too many cards for multiple options can confuse the matter rather than clarifying it. Narrow down your choices as much as possible, then pull one card to represent the inside card for each option. You can then do further exploration of the option you choose using one of the more complex layouts. Okay, so let's begin by thinking about what do we need to know about, it feels like, what do we need to know about option one? Okay, what do we actually need to know about option one? This is option one and then option two, right? So what do we need to know about option one? It's about, okay, option one is about being in control of our journey. It's about our leadership with Sunstone, right? It's about our leadership. Okay, it's about our leadership. Option two is all about being able to be mindful. I think we slow down a little bit. I think our leadership card tells us that we're going to be sort of very active, we're going to be in control of our journey. It's all about doing what we need to do to achieve our goals. Where option two is all about slowing down a little bit. It's all about being a bit more conscious of our choices. We don't necessarily need to be in control, knowing that there are times when we can sort of slow down a little bit, let others, we can surrender to allowing others to guide us through our journey. Okay, with option one, we're in control, we're the one that's taking action, we're the leadership, we're in promotion, we're the one that's sort of moving, we're sort of the one that's sort of delegating where with the mindfulness maybe we're a little bit slowing down we maybe ask for others advice we sort of um, we're not always in control so to speak we're a little bit more conscious or aware of what's actually going on around us interesting here okay so let's look at sunstone as in the chakras and the affirmation <coughs> Okay, the chakras is the sacral and the solar plexus. And the affirmation, I embrace responsibility as part of my personal power. Where? <coughs> the 
mindfulness. light okay it's so a third eye and crown chakra with the affirmation is I am feels like with the option one is you're always thinking about the future because you're in control you're the one that's sort of moving towards your goals we are with the option two you become a little bit more in the now so I feel like you've got your choices here. You either focus on where you're going or you just be in the moment. Sometimes when you're so busy focusing on where you're going, you're missing each moment for what it is. So that I think is your choice. You can either um, keep moving forward with your thought always ahead of you, always thinking ahead, or you can just take a moment to be in breath. That's very, very interesting for part two of this series. Okay, so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care, and blessed be. Mm -hmm.